Hello, so today we're going to be looking at making our own right angle finders because what I'd like you to do once we've made these is go on a hunt around your house, find lots of different objects and identify whether they have any right angles. As an extension, if it doesn't have a right angle, can you tell me whether that object has an obtuse or an acute angle? Remember an obtuse angle is larger than 90 degrees and an acute angle is smaller than 90 degrees. So to make our right angle finder we need to get half of a piece of paper to begin with. You are then going to label that piece of paper with the letters A, B and C. A is going to go in one corner like this. C is going to go in the middle like this and then B is going to go on the other corner like this. So your piece of paper should now look like mine. You are now going to fold your piece of paper in half so you want the two corners to meet. Okay. You're then going to smooth out the paper so that we can see that we've folded it. Okay. Now this here would be a right angle, so we're now going to mark that out. Okay. So you will see that I've now made my right angle finder, and I've got a few objects here that we're going to test to see whether they Okay, so the first object that I'm going to test is this recipe book here. So I'm going to get my right angle finder, and I'm going to line it up with the corner of my recipe book. Now if I line it up, we can see that both the edges of my piece of paper line up perfectly with the corner of that book. That tells me that this recipe book has a right angle. We're now going to have a look at this utensil holder. So I'm going to get my little right angle and I'm going to line it up with the bottom of my utensil holder. Okay. And I can see that if I was to follow it up, if I show you from this angle here, we can see that the paper goes over the side of the utensil holder. So which type of angle do you think this would be? This would be an example of an acute angle because we can see that the utensil holder is smaller than our right angle. Remember, an acute angle is smaller than 90 degrees. We're now going to look at a bottle of perfume. So again, I'm going to get my right angle finder. I'm going to line it up with the bottom of my bottle. And you can see that the perfume bottle is greater than the right angle. So what type of angle would this be? This would be an example of an, of an obtuse angle because it is greater than 90 degrees. I'd now like you to go on a hunt for objects around your home and use your right angle finders to see if you can find right angles, obtuse angles and acute angles.